Gaur Samantha, working as Associate Research Analyst at Industry Arc. Today, I am going to present a webinar on Atomic Layer Deposition, the potential advantages of metal oxide chemical vapor deposition and physical vapor deposition to help the market penetration in dynamic random access memory, supercapacitors and fuel cell manufacturing. The agenda of today's webinar is divided into eight pointers, existing and emerging applications of atomic layer deposition, challenges in large scale implementation of atomic layer deposition, research initiatives taken by major manufacturers, government initiative to boost local semiconductor production, geographic analysis of ALD penetration in semiconductor manufacturing, advantages over metal organic chemical vapor deposition and physical vapor deposition, coating electrolytes on 3D structures and the potential for lateral confinement, starting with the introduction of atomic layer deposition. It is a nanotechnology based deposition process employed for coating very thin films on any shape and geometry. The two distinct characteristics of atomic layer deposition includes high conformal coating and self-limiting atomic layer by layer growth. The atomic layer deposition process takes place in the four steps. Precursor dosing. This is the first step for ALD process. It involves adsorption of the precursor molecules which takes place at the reactive sites of the surface followed by the formation of reaction products. The next step is purging. The excess precursor and reaction products found in the earlier process is purged out of the deposition chamber leaving behind only the absorbed precursor monolayer. The next step would be co-reactant dosing. The co-reactants are introduced into the chamber which reacts with the adsorbed precursor monolayer to form the final layer of the desired material. And the final step is again purging. The unreacted co-reactant molecules and byproducts formed in the reaction in the last step is purged out. The saturation of individual and sequentially performed surface reaction between the substrate and the precursor molecules in this technique allows intrinsic surface control mechanism. Owing to this saturation mechanism, the film thickness is dependent on the number of cycle which results in the film thickness to be grown in a layer by layer manner with sub nanometer thickness control, extensive coverage and film thickness uniformity. In this self-limiting adsorption reaction process, the amount of precursor deposition is dependent only on the number of reactive surface sites and not on the precursor exposure after saturation. Going forward to the existing and emerging applications of atomic layer deposition. Current applications. Atomic layer deposition had been employed in semiconductor industry for several years in various electronic devices and component fabrication. Apart from coating the active material layers inside the IC component, the method had also been used to weed electronic device component from moisture, impurities and oxygen, improving its life and failure-free operation. For the fabrication of electronic component and devices such as transistors, capacitors, memory chips and read heads, ALD is used for producing spacer oxide films, high dielectric constant oxide films, tunneling oxide films, interpoly dielectric oxide films, blocking oxide films, capping layer films, adhesion layer films, ferromagnetic materials, diffusion barrier films and so on. For microelectromechanical system applications, ALD is employed for deposition of charged dissipative layers, coatings for hermetical seals, conformal thermally conductive layers, edge marks and edge top layers, biocompatible coatings and so on. Various conventional thin film deposition methods such as chemical vapor deposition, spin coating and sputtering suffer from the same drawbacks in MEMS technology as in IC component manufacturing. Constantly decreasing device size and increasing features set so high standard to the film quality that they are very hard to reach with the conventional coating techniques. High deposition temperatures are often a restricting factor in MEMS manufacturing. Both the above mentioned issues can be addressed with ALD which enables high quality, uniformity and conformal film deposition on MEMS structures even at low temperatures. Aluminium oxide is utilized as electric shock preventive layer, edge mask and stop layer 
hydrophobic and adhesive. It can also be used as a protective layer for hermetic sealing of the device. Titanium oxide works as an anti-striction layer and protects the underlying structures against friction and wear. Zinc oxide along with aluminium can be used as charge dissipative layer and silicon oxide and silicon nitride as electrically insulating layers. Of the above mentioned materials, aluminium oxide, silicon oxide and titanium oxide are also biocompatible, allowing their use in medical industry. MEMS industry benefits especially from ALD's ability to coat outstanding quality thin films and nano laminates inside trenches. Sharp enough interfaces within these structures are not possible to achieve with any other coating techniques. Combination of ALD thin films of different materials can also act as reflective, anti-reflective and black absorbing optical coating. Conformal film coverage provides superior film properties even in structures that are difficult to coat. Conversely, nanoscale pores can be closed using the ALD technique. Going forward to the imaging applications. The imaging applications of ALD are anti-tarnishing of coin and jewelries, solar cell efficiency enhancement, power based catalyst materials, environmental friendly packaging, biocompatible coatings for medical applications, protection against corrosion and wear of metal objects, decorative coatings and many others. Further, ALD is also being used to enhance the power and energy density, safety and life cycle of lithium ion batteries. Lithium ion battery market has prominent growth opportunities in the automotive and next generation power storage sector. Extensive research and development activities are being conducted for the implementation of ALD for designing and synthesizing LIB components such as anode, cathode and solid electrolytes. Moreover, the process is also being used to enhance electrode properties by surface coating. The next part of the webinar is challenges in large scale implementation of ALD. For high throughput manufacturing process of PV cells that has been developed so far, use ideal ALD precursor such as trimethyl zirconium and trimethyl aluminium which are highly reactive and volatile liquids which require very careful handling. For some processes only solid or low vapor pressure precursors are available. The deposition process of which is very challenging over large areas and processing as well at atmospheric temperature. Moreover, the employment of temperature sensitive materials for fabrication of polymer based solar cell still poses a serious challenge to large scale conventional ALD process as the deposition of high quality materials at low temperature is very difficult. Plasma assisted ALD processes are being developed to overcome this challenge for wide scale implementation as it allows the deposition of these materials at significantly low temperature. Apart from this, the process is slow and majorly done in batches. High speed and high volume production of electronic components by using ALD process is still a challenge to which the equipment manufacturers are majorly focusing on. Research initiatives taken by the major manufacturers is the next part of our webinar. Major memory and logic manufacturers are extensively investing for the development of ALD for producing ultra thin high K dielectric films. Energy storage device manufacturers are looking towards implementation of ALD for developing nanostructured electrochemical and energy storage devices with improved life cycle, charge density and enhanced safety. With the miniaturization of electronics, the semiconductor OEMs are investing heavily on R&D of 5 nanometer and 3 nanometer products by using ALD owing to its coating uniformity and extensive control over the coating thickness. The ALD equipment manufacturers are also conducting extensive research in collaboration with universities and research institutes to expand the utilization scope of precursor materials. Moreover, the equipment are also been developed to increase the throughput and quality for high volume production, especially those employed for fabrication of PV cells. Looking towards the major government initiatives. In December 2015, the United States and over 50 developed and developing country partners at the World Trade Organization announced a landmark expansion of the Information Technology Agreement. This will phase out hundreds of tariffs on US information technology exports all over the world. The expanded agreement will eliminate tariffs on technologies developed since the initial agreement as well as the broader application of ICT. The agreement covers a list of 200 product categories which the WTO estimates to be worth $1.3 trillion in global exports per year. 
the United States exports 180 billion dollars in these technologies each year. This is set to drive the semiconductor and semiconductor manufacturing equipment in the future, projecting to the wide scale adoption of ALD equipment as well. China's government is committed to investing upwards of $150 billion into the industry over the next decade through what is dubbed as the National IC Fund with additional funding encouraged at the sub-central level by provincial and municipal governments to develop a globally competitive domestic industry. The initiative also has strong support from China's senior government leadership. Since announcement of these semiconductor industry development policies, in June 2014, China's objective has come into focus. China's government aims to replicate to the furthest extent possible the semiconductor value chain within China to reduce its reliance on foreign chips while simultaneously strengthening its economy and moving up the value chain. Though it's newly announced <coughs> in India, the union budget for 2017 and 18 year, the government has in increase the allocation for incentive schemes like the modified special incentive package scheme and the electronic development fund to 111 million dollars for providing a boost to the semiconductor as well as electronics manufacturing industry the union cabinet has approved incentives up to 1.47 billion dollars for investors by amending this modified special incentive package scheme in order to further incentivize investments in electronic sector, create employment opportunities and reduce dependence on imports by 2020. The Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology plans to revise its policy framework which would involve the government taking a more active role in developing the sector by providing initial capital with the aim to attract more private players and make India a global semiconductor hub. As for the India Electronics and Semiconductor Association, the electronic system design and manufacturing industry is set to benefit from government's Make in India campaign and is projected to see investment proposals of worth $1.5 billion over the next two years. Gujarat government is planning to set up an electronic product manufacturing hub in the state. Through its newly announced electronics policy 2016, the government also plans to invest $10 billion in two computer chip manufacturing facilities in a view to create an ecosystem that lays the focus on high-end innovation. Coming to geographic analysis of LED penetration in semiconductor manufacturing, growth in the end-user industries is expected to boost the demand for atomic layer deposition instruments. The electronics industry is growing at a rapid rate, especially in emerging economies such as Asia Pacific and Latin America. Additionally, rising demand for miniaturized component and development of nanotechnology is anticipated to propel the demand for atomic layer deposition instruments. Semiconductor industries are likely to invest in new manufacturing equipment and the market is expected to witness major growth opportunities in the near future. Moreover, APAC has also turned up into being a potential growth market owing to various mergers, acquisitions and expansions happening in this industry. Major players involved in this market are majorly concentrating on R&D initiatives and new product development to cater the needs of the customers. However, high cost linked with the atomic layer deposition business is anticipated to continue being a key challenge for market participants. Let's take a look at the advantages of atomic layer deposition over metal organic chemical vapor deposition and physical vapor deposition in dynamic random access memory, supercapacitors and fuel cell manufacturing. The main advantages of atomic layer deposition over other gas phase deposition techniques include precise film thickness control by simply changing the number of deposition cycles without controlling the dose of the precursor. Uniform doping is easy to accomplish by replacing the growth cycle by a doping cycle at the desired interval. Another advantage is an inherent feature of ALD originates from is surface control nature which allows substrates of various sizes and geometries to be conformably coated. ALD is already a standard high volume manufacturing technique for HDD, DRAM and CMOS applications. Okay. Advanced 3D integration and packaging of systems and modules on the other hand utilized conductive through silicon via structures enabled by ALD. Interconnecting the active layers in the 3D integrated systems requires highly conformal ultra thin metallization film that is able to cover uniformly deep trench structures with aspect ratios. 
deep trench capacitors or memory devices also require high quality metallization layers. ALD is ideal method for producing these metal layers thus enabling continuous shrinkage of device features. Apart from this, ALD is used for depositing high K dielectrics in DRAM capacitors to increase their capacitance per unit area. The uniformity of the process and thickness control allow deposition of these materials with precise control over the substrates, thereby enhancing the device performance and life prominently. Going forward to supercapacitor production, ALD technique is being further employed to develop high performance and high voltage stable supercapacitors by encapsulating activated carbon at molecular level. The aluminium oxide coating of 2 nanometer thickness over the activated carbon surface without disturbing its microporous morphology is found to enhance the device's performance and life cycle considerably. The electrodes exhibit Excellent stability at 3 volt operation with 39% energy density enhancement from 2 to 5 volt operation owing to the production of surface functional groups and reduction of electrolyte degradation achieved by this coating. Going forward to fuel cell production. Fuses are energy storage devices capable of generating electricity by oxidation of natural gas, hydrogen or other fuels. Solid oxide fuel cells are now been developed specially for electric vehicles, space vehicles and so on. Thin film solid oxide fuel cells contain thin film electrolytes which are continuous and crack free in order to prevent gas leakage. The electrodes employed in thin film solid oxide fuel cells are coated with thin coatings of thickness in the order of 100 to 1000 nanometers. The propriety of thickness control coating uniformity Pinhole free coating and the ease of coating complex structures is availing significant growth opportunities to atomic layer deposition in this sector. The next part of the webinar is coating electrolytes on 3D structures. Many of the processes which are key to energy harvesting and storage devices are being improved by increased surface area of 3D nanostructures. In lithium ion batteries, higher surface area results in higher energy and power densities as well as pay as well as space to accommodate the addition and removal of lithium ions which may possibly introduce mechanical strain during operation. Lithium ion battery researchers are now looking forward towards solid state as opposed to liquid electrolytes to avoid risk of leakage and corrosion, improving its operational safety. This is increasing the demand of sophisticated coating techniques to add electrolytes and counter electrode layers to complex 3D nanostructures. ALD not only provides pinhole free coating of solid state electrolytes on 3D electrode structures but it also offers the ability to tailor the coating thickness which can significantly improve the performance. Going to the last part of the webinar, the potential for lateral confinement. Apart from being an excellent tool for coatings, it has long been recognized that atomic layer deposition offers great potential for controlling lateral confinement. Coating thickness is still the key for catalysis performance. However, atomic layer deposition can also help with size matters. In recent study of four atomic layer deposition processes for the preparation of nanoparticle catalyst made from platinum and palladium, the potential for size control as well as its dependence on process conditions have also been identified. The use of plasmonic metamaterial absorbers has gained notice in the past few years and ALD is already proving invaluable for work exploring the essential mechanisms in these systems too. The ALD control over dielectric layers to distinguish between different plasmonic modes is also been explored. This concludes our webinar and for more information on atomic layer deposition please visit our website. Thank you for watching this webinar and do reward us your queries.